and welcome Wednesday uh, wellness break. All right. <clears throat> Lots of our stuff is, today is going to be uh, actually standing up. So give a little bit of space. Um, not going to be down on our knees or anything. So you don't need a whole ton of uh, nice and soft material to be able to sit on if you're on a hardwood. Um, so let them get everybody up out of our chairs. We're just going to do a little bit of a march here to start just to get some blood moving here in our, uh, our legs. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, hopefully you guys are staying nice and warm. I'm all bundled up today, as you can see, which is not normal for me. I would be in shorts and t-shirt, but my basement's a little cold today. So <clears throat> hopefully you guys are all staying warm. All right, and this is going to help us as well keep that body up just a little bit. Right on. Keep marching. Nothing crazy. So a little bit wider with our legs now. So instead of marching in front of us, we want to bring them out to the sides. Okay, probably about 45 degrees. If you can go further, great. <clears throat> if not, that's okay. Anything out to the side helps. You're going to feel it probably on the insides of our legs, those adductors. All right. So we'll be, should be fairly warm with our legs anyway. Okay. So today we're actually going to start with a hamstring stretch. All right. So what we want to do is put our feet together, lock our knees out. What we want to do is make sure we bend at our hip, drop those shoulders down, go as far as we can here. Okay, we're gonna go down and hold. Okay, we're gonna hold for about 15 seconds here. And then we're gonna come back up, nice and slow. Okay, you can give each side a little bit of a shake if you want. And we're going to come back into it. Okay, so again, feet together, lock those knees out, bend in our hip, push that butt backwards a little bit. All right, going down as far as we can here. Okay, ideally, we want to be able to at least probably touch the ground here. Right, I know some of you are probably laughing at me through your screen. I can't hear you. <clears throat> but that is a nice goal, right? We do need flexibility as we age. It becomes more and more important to be able to help keep our independence, right? That's a vital part of, um, of aging, right? Flexibility and strength. You're going to stave off injuries that way. Okay, come on up. Okay, so we did both sides. We're going to find out if you guys have a little bit of an asymmetry as well. So we're going to get you to stand on your left foot. Your right foot is just going to kind of be sitting on its toes at the back of the left heel, okay? So all that weight is on that left foot. We're going to do the same thing, okay? You may or may not notice this time when you do it, you can go further, or maybe you feel like you can do less on one leg, right? Most of the time with... Uh, with individuals, we have one side that is a little more flexible than the other. We're gonna find out here which side that is for you. Okay, keep holding. Come on up. We're gonna actually do the other side right now and then we're gonna come back here. Ah, actually, I like. We're just gonna move on to the next one after this. Okay, so standing on the right leg, left leg is back, right? All the weight is on the right side. Bend over here again at our hip. Okay, awesome. So more than likely, if you have one side that is less flexible than the other, when you do it with both legs on the ground, you're only getting as far for the most part probably uh, as your least flexible side, right? So you may have uh, surprised yourself a little bit here where one side is going to be a little more flexible than the other. Meaning, you're going to have to work on the other side a little bit. Okay, awesome. Come on up over that. All right, we're going to do a little bit of lunging here. Okay, so what I want you to do is back up in your space. You have a little bit of room to be able to step forward. Okay, big step with the left foot. Okay, nice lunge position. I will show you sideways kind of what it would look like. All right, <clears throat> just ensuring that this knee is not way out in front of those toes. Right here would be good, okay? You can let that back leg rest on the ground if you'd like. We're gonna take our arms, we're gonna go up over our head, stretch those shoulders as far as we can. Good. 
Good. Push the arms backwards. Down. Stand up. Walk yourself back again. Okay, I'm going to rotate so you guys can still see. Now we're going to take a big step with that left foot. Okay, here, rest that back leg on the ground. Nice 90 degree angle with that front leg. And up. And push those shoulders back here. Nice and tall with that chest. And down, step forward. Perfect. We're gonna go one more each side. So we do have a, quite a few more <coughs> lunges to do today. So just different variations, all right? So same thing here, up with those arms, push them back. Keep breathing, nice and tall with that body, with that chest. All right, down, step forward, okay? I'm just gonna turn around, you can walk yourself back if you need. Okay, back to the right side, okay? Big step, right foot, okay? Arms up. Push those hips forward, especially that left one right now, because that left leg is back. Push that left hip forward, square those hips up. All right, come on down, step on up. All right, so this next one, we're gonna get into a very similar position, but this time we don't wanna let that back leg drop onto the ground, right? So we're gonna to try to hold into this position, okay? What we're gonna do first, uh, my right leg is back, Okay, so obviously left foot's forward. My left hand is gonna go down on the inside of my left foot as well, okay? From here, we're gonna open up our chest with that right hand, push that hand as far as we can to the right, okay? Breathe, open that chest. Down, step up, forward. Here, okay, walk yourself back if you need. I'm just gonna stay right here so I can open up to you guys. All right, big step with the right foot. Right hand down on the inside of that right foot. Left hand comes up. Open that chest. Nice and big. Right on, keep breathing. Down, step forward. All right, so we're gonna build off that one this time. That one might not have been too bad. I'm gonna go this way still. Uh, no, I lied, I'm gonna go this way. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. Big step with the left foot. This time our right hand is gonna go down on the inside of that left foot. Now that left arm is gonna come up and now we're gonna to rotate to the left. Okay, so opposite of what we did last time. Feel maybe like you're getting into a little bit of a pretzel here. <clears throat> you're probably doing it right. <clears throat> Keep pushing, open up. All right, down, step forward. Okay, walk yourself back if you need. Okay, this time, big step with the right foot. Left hand down on the inside of the right foot. Right arm coming up and rotate. Keep breathing. Down, step forward. And that's it for lunges, okay? So let's drop down onto our mat. Okay, so what we wanna do here, have our feet directly behind us, okay? With our knees bent, let's go nice and wide with our knees, okay? A little bit of a groin stretch here as well. And once we get into a pretty decent position there, we wanna to try to push our butt backwards toward our feet. So I'll try to turn so you guys can kind of see, All right? So nice and wide with my knees, 
All right, feet are behind me. Now I want to slowly drop those hips down to the ground. Okay, if you need to drop onto your elbows here, you feel a little bit more of a stretch, go for it. Other than that, we're just going to sit here. Good. All right, come on up out of that. Bring those knees together. Okay, this is our rest period. We're gonna go back into that one more time. All right, go down. Okay, nice and wide with those knees. Okay, feet directly behind the knees. Drop those hips backwards. Go down to your elbows if you'd like. Right on, keep holding, keep breathing. All right, come on up, go to that. Let's sit on our bum, okay? We're gonna cross that right leg in front of us, okay? Left leg is gonna be out to our side, okay? Try to have this lower leg parallel to our shoulders, okay? What we're going to do from here is lean over this front leg as far as we can. Okay, you can have your hand on your right foot, your left hand on your right foot, other arms just hanging out kind of in front of us, right? Just leaning forward, trying to stay nice and flat back. We don't want to just arch here, right? Keep that flat back. Try to pour it yourself over that front leg. You should feel it here in, a, in our hips, our glutes, okay? Good, keep leaning. Again, trying to go a little farther every two, three seconds, right? Trying to push a little bit more into this stretch. All right, up. Let's reverse our feet. Okay, left leg's up in front of us. Right leg is out to the side. All right. Let's lean over that foot. All right, remember flat back here. Lean. Again, every few seconds, try to push yourself a little farther. This is a really good one if you have tight hips, okay? Keep breathing. Push. All right, and then come on up out of that. All right, so there's uh, six different stretches that you can continue to do at home. Again, pop this on. Uh, this video will be up on, uh, on the YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this one, keep doing this one. Uh, and there's a bunch of other ones on there as well. So, all right, take care. We'll see you guys. Or Dwayne will see you guys on Friday, 10 a.m.